that. Um, as of today, I was made an operational member, which basically just uh, moves me up a little bit in rank in the party. Um, what we talked about a little bit today, and I'll probably be discussing it later on, is uh, I don't know if you know Scott Wagner or not. He's going he's to be running for governor against Mr. Wolf next year. Um, he would actually like to come to this area and put on a uh, bring him down. But, you know, and so probably at some point we're looking at renting the, the gymnasium to do that. <coughs> and also, there's actually positions. Uh, I'm actually represented for Donegal One. Um, I've made some recommendations for others, but I actually need with a man and a woman team for each each one. They're not too worried about Donegal Three because it's going to get eliminated. Uh, at the end of the year, it's going to be going to go west, going to go east. Two precincts. So basically, they're just going to do one and two. They're worried about filling, but uh, we still need a woman for Donegal too. Um, Bob Fisher's been nominated for the man in Donegal too. Just to let everybody know that the differences between Donegal one and Donegal two will be Lake Road. Yes, and what's and on the, Wilhelm Valley, Wilhelm Valley on the other side of yes. Forty. And it'll be Donegal East, Donegal West. That's correct. Basically, I'll become Donegal One, and and that'll be Donegal Two, okay. as far as the membership goes. But anyway, basically, just if you have any questions about the party, and if you have any interest, um, we're looking for a lady in, on that side of Lake Road, and, uh, and uh, contact. You know, we can put some. Give me the paper. Write your name and stuff down, and I'll give it to them, and they'll. Uh, you know, Mark's the one that. He verifies everybody, and you go through a vetting process. Congratulations. Years ago, and Ruth Wright used to do it, uh, Frank Ramage used to do it, the parties always had a committee person that, like, a few days before Election Day, they would go, the rep, Frank would go to the Republicans, uh, Ruth would come to my parents' house and hand out copies of the ballots and all this stuff. That hasn't been done for years. Are yeah, the parties no longer doing that? Um, the Republican Party, they just started this. They're, they're, they're trying, we're trying to rejuvenate oh. the base. We're trying to take, I mean, we hate to say it, but we're trying to model after the Democrats. They, they kind of beat us to the bunch a little bit on elections, but as far as getting getting their base out to vote, do a little better job. So the Republican Party's trying to step up its game. Well, I don't know. I'm and, a Democrat, and there hasn't been anybody well, from my goal with the ballot. I know. I mean, in but fact, that's Carol what, Thomas, I believe, was the last person. Right. They, he's been gone for 20 years. Yeah. Ago. They said it kind of phased out, and they're just they're trying to bring it back. They need to. And now, actually, like I said, I was I was appointed now. Next year it'll be up for election. Mm -hmm. it'll, you know, this was just something new, so the chairman's given the power to appoint people, mm -hmm. and he gets recommendations from different people through. I don't know actually how I even got my name. He just called me one night, and the next thing I knew, I was a committee member. <coughs> and then I got a phone call today, and I'm an operations person. Okay, so. But they are trying to do that. Yeah. So. Anyway, if anybody has any questions, you can contact me. Ed, did you ever hand up? Yeah, on Bobby's comment, um, it kind of hits. It says, as members of the fire department, we protect all of the township the most we can. We have the equipment and training to do that. So we're open to membership also. But we, I think we do a pretty good job of the members of the township and doing everything. Yeah, you do. And you do a good job. Yeah, you do. We have the equipment that is already there for disasters and training, and I'm sure we could. Uh, Help anybody in training also. It's some, of those, some of those duties of fire marshal, I think, is going to going to take an active role in a lot of what goes on. This is something totally different from the fire department. Ed. I'm just concerned about not having the right equipment going in disaster location. You get somebody hurt. That's what, it, that's what the training. Extreme, or extreme cases. That that's what the training is for, and that. Region 13 provides the equipment. They're going to ask for, you're going to think somebody free of charge. Going to volunteer for free to go into a disaster? Well, it's in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to volunteer for a volunteer best. I'm going to volunteer for 10 years for a volunteer 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 for a volun
<laughs> making somebody jump the gun. Hey, J.D. He had his hand up for me. I just had a question. Uh, the correspondence, anybody allowed to look at those? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, J.D. <clears throat> um, I, maybe I should address this in the police department, but Chief, did the guy, I can't even think of the name of the company, you know, they're going to do the bridge right there, light bread. Did he come up and contact you today? Or, or anybody at the Tammy? Did a contractor come up today? They're, they're going to tear up the bridge Which right bridge? there at Lake Road on 40. Okay. Concrete bridge there. What's that? Concrete bridge? Yeah. And they don't seem real well organized. <laughs> um, he approached me, one place to put that Connex box and equipment, and he stopped. What's today? Wednesday. I stopped Friday. Late and then today, but they've known again. They've known about the project. They asked him today since November, and he waits till today. Well, can we put it somewhere here? That's where the red light is. You know. Well, yeah, because that's it, it ain't worth paying. Anything. Paying hundred dollars a month for somebody. I was like, that ain't worth time talking about. Anyway, my concern is safety. Come seven a.m. tomorrow morning, all the houses gonna break loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're bringing in Jersey bearers and they're shutting down one side. I told him where you guys were at and told him to come up and talk to you today. So I talked to the state in 84. They're supposed to be getting back. One of the guys that's working with the project is supposed to be getting back. And he didn't today. I assume he will tomorrow. They, they never not get back. They just, they got two pieces of heavy equipment yeah, there. They, they, they got a big excavator down there that they ran down well, Lake Road and parked across. For the folks that, for the folk, yeah, they're starting tomorrow morning. I understand we can't. We have no input in it, but we'll have a point of contact and we can express our concerns. My concern is public safety. All the gas and all the traffic, all the wide. I don't know what they're going to do about wide loads, heavy traffic, but I mean, there was almost accidents today, just you know, flaggers, they're not, they get heavy equipment, they're sticking down the road, they're, they're not organized. They're, they're not. How about for busing and the buses that are going to No, they won't know the part. You see, he's, unless they close the road. He said, as of tomorrow, they're getting delivery of Jersey barriers, and they are going to barrier off one. The I believe they're doing the westbound lane first. <coughs> so I didn't know if you were aware. I thought you guys ought to be. No, when we saw him start to do the work, we want to have him contact. Any public comment? Motion to continue the meeting to May 15th at 7 p.m. So moved. Second. How you vote? Dave? Yes. Zach? Yes. Zach? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.